Hello there and welcome. Today I'm going to show you how you can craft uh, flasks for profit for Magepod users. Uh, so what you need are uh, alteration orbs and kindling orbs, a few augmentations and uh, four transmutes uh, for me, I guess. Yeah, one, two, three, four, just to make your flasks uh, magical. Uh, you don't have to uh, roll uh, quality on your flasks because uh, Mage Blood don't care about uh, what's it called? Uptime, which you get from uh, uh, using uh, these bosses. Glass Blowers Bulb. Okay. So, let's get this started. So, what you want after you made your uh, flasks magical? is to spam them with alterations and get uh, type 1 suffixes. So uh, the suffixes we want are armor, evasion, resistance, uh, attack speed, cost speed, critical strike chance, uh, reduced cha effect of curses, or chance to avoid being stunned. And we might want to look into the leech uh, mechanic where you can uh, get 0.8% of damage leash as uh, energy shield. Hi. So, just a quick tip. You want your flasks to be at least level 84. Uh, this will make it cheaper for you to craft. So you need fewer alterations to hit a tire 1. Because you can hit mo uh, more tire 1s on 83, 84. Then you can, uh, like, let's say, 81. So let's just start right away and hope we get something. So for cost speed, you need at least, uh, what, what is it, 15? Yeah. So we're just skipping that. Uh, armor, we need 55. Still 55. Okay, so there, there's one. Uh, you need at least 51% chance to avoid being shocked during effect. And this usually just doesn't happen to me, but I got the, the side prefix to the 25 increased effect. We also see that we have 33% reduced duration, but we don't care about that because we're crafting for mage blood users. And what mage blood does, for those of you who don't, haven't played with a mage blood, is that it, uh, it makes your flask always be active. So uh, the duration doesn't matter as your flask is active, act, active all the time. So uh, when we get this, when you get the increased effect and you hit a tier, four, tier 1 suffix that you want, you uh, get a kindling orb and you try to hit 70% uh, increased uh, effect. So uh, because, because you want the maximum effect and 70 is the maximum so it should be one in 30 we hit the 70 i will uh, burn through the divine ones to get get it which was pretty damn annoying to be honest am i doing it am i doing it again one increase effect 70 70 70 we hit a 68 there we don't want that uh, are you kidding me are we really doing this on the first flask burning through a divine breath of uh I, come on, there we go. Oh, that's a lot. How many did I use there? Uh, half. Over half. So, yeah. Usually I hit much earlier than that, but yeah, it's RNG, so. So, let's price check this flask. You see, as it as it stands now, I can sell for one divine. If you add a hidden and the 70% increased effect, 
still want to win. So, <laughs> yeah, uh, someone probably is doing the same strat, and you can sell. So, wanted to divine, good price for that one. And we haven't spent the divine worth of resources yet. Uh, let's hope this one is a bit nicer when it comes to uh, increased effect. So, I get the prefix here increased effect 25%. But I missed it. There we go. That's a tier one uh, cast speed. And we get the 25% increased effect. Oh, 69. You should love it, but not now. There we go. Let's uh, price check this one. Okay, without the increased effect, it's around 50 chaos. And there we go. One divine again. Let me just ask. Rico strike needs to be 55. Oh, uh, yeah. No, 50 to 55. Sorry. So, there we go. And a uh, decent armor roll. It's tier 1. No, it's not. Uh, armor starts from 56. Uh, sorry. I'm being an idiot. Increase the mental. Nope. Let's do an augmentation there because we have the prefix and it's terrible. There we go. That's the attack damage leech, leech just life during effect. So I haven't sold many of the. Uh, uh, of uh, of flasks, I haven't so many flasks with attack damage leeches life. Uh, but that's because I haven't crafted many of them. So let's do a price check on them. You see how how okay. So they're probably around two divines then, which is nice. So I'm gonna uh, increase effect. There we go. Just price check again, hidden. Okay. It's three divines, but I'll, I'll probably, yeah, I'll, I'll uh, put it out for three. I will, I will. So. This is the one. Let's do this. And we hit, um, yeah, nice. Increased effect and a tier one critical chance. Let's do a couple of kindlings. There we go. So as you can see, these two flasks were hell easy. That one. Yeah. Uh, let's double check the price on the evasion rating. Okay, just remove that one. Okay, so like this, I could probably sell my flask for one divine. Let's do it with 70 increase effect. Still want to do the bites. So what I've done here, I've crafted four flasks, which is ideal for uh, good for uh, maceworld users. I've spent almost a divine worth of uh, enkindling orbs, uh, and mm, not even close to one divine worth of alteration orbs. What have I used? Two, three. Four stacks of alterations, so 40 alterations. What's that? 20C? Uh, yeah, around that. Around there. But as you can see, if you if you do this, you pick up uh, 80 level, uh, level 84 flasks and just uh, throw alterations on them. So you get the desired uh, prefix and suffix. 
and just give some killing orbs after that you can you can make a pretty easy profit by doing this and this strategy works on most flasks uh so uh you don't only have to do this flask that i've done experiment and uh, have fun hope this guide helped you thank you